They say you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. And in interviews particularly, this is the golden truth. After all, first impressions can be lasting. So in today's video, I will give you seven golden rules to create the best first impression in an interview. So let's get going. Hey everyone, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. Now I conduct interviews literally every week and sometimes I wish that some of the candidates had not made those mistakes. So today I will help you prevent costly mistakes and also make you the star of the show on your interview. Starting with rule number one, time is all there is. These days interviews can be either offline or online. Now for a physical interview, please make sure you reach at least 15 to 20 minutes in advance. Check out the location, freshen up, get enough time to be in the waiting area and feel perfectly relaxed and poised. And for online interviews, let me assure you that there is nothing more annoying than waiting on a Zoom call and the candidate kind of stumbles in five minutes late saying, um, sorry, my computer restarted suddenly or I was having network issues. Mm -mm -mm. Be there five minutes before your call time. Make sure your camera works well, you have good lighting, you're sitting in a quiet spot and make sure the background is kind of a little plain wall and you are relaxed. Now before we move on to rule number two, I would like to give a shout out to Dark for leaving this very bright message under our last video. And if you want a shout out as well in our next video, then quickly drop me a comment below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. And next on to rule number two, mood regulation. Anne Demarais and Valerie White have placed great emphasis on mood and its ability to create a great first impression. In their book, First Impressions, now they say, when you seem to be in a good mood, it's easier for people to approach you. So three things will help us elevate our mood. One, before stepping into the interview, make sure you eat something that gives you energy. If nothing else, eat a banana or a chocolate. Now two, this tip will work like magic. Go to the nearest restroom or hallway, stand up straight, with your legs a bit wider than your shoulders and throw your hands up in a V shape. Take deep breaths and hold this pose for two minutes. This is a power pose and believe it or not, it will instantly make you feel brighter, more confident and powerful. And finally, enjoy the event. Think of the interview as an experience more than a competition for a spot. And your smile is your logo and your personality, your visiting card. Rule number three, homework is smart work. Nothing impresses an interviewer more than good preparation. Read up about the latest news on the company. Check out definitely their social media pages and kind of remember some key information that you can name drop. Go look up the LinkedIn profiles of the interviewers and make sure that you've read the job description thoroughly. And how do you actually do the homework leaks? Make sure you just find some creative and subtle ways to let the interviewer know that you have come prepared. Uh, maybe you can say something like this. I was going through the recent news where I read that there is an expansion planned in three countries, blah, blah, blah. And I believe that we have a real opportunity here to build a stronger brand before we make it go global. This will show your genuine interest in the company and the post that you're applying for. Rule number four, reflect trust and sincerity. You know, people are more willing to ignore some of your mistakes if they trust you. One of the best ways is to be honest. If there is some skill set that you do not have, it's better to admit and commit to the idea that maybe you're looking forward to learning and that you actually enjoy learning new skills. Honesty about your weakness will actually make your strengths also 
more believable. Another thing that tends to ruin trust is overdressing or maybe too much makeup. Dress smartly, take enough care to look professional, but don't let your favorite movie star influence your appearance. By the way, if you're thinking about maybe how to answer some of the difficult interview questions, then we have some helpful videos for you and I'm going to drop a few links for you in the description box below. Rule number five, modern resume. Now, our resume is actually the fastest introduction on us. On average, let me give you some statistics. Hiring managers take about 30 seconds to scan your resume. And this is according to a study by Ladders, which is an online job matching service. So, if it's only 30 seconds, then I suggest, how about you keep your resume precise and creative? An ideal resume should be not more than one page long. And if you really stretch it, maximum two pages, but not more than that. Try to sort of present more of your experiences and work especially the pieces that are relevant for the job that you're interviewing. You can use some apps if you like, like Canva or maybe some word templates and make the format a little attractive. With this, you will find that you're already one step ahead of your peers without even competing. Rule number six, long song is a wrong song. <laughs> Keep the answers short and to the point. How about you use the rule of three? Example. Why do you find this role interesting? Answer, there are three things I like about the role. This makes the listener focus and it also impresses them with your thought process. Marty Nemko, who's the host of a radio show in San Francisco, suggests that using the traffic light rule to monitor your conversation will work. Now what he says is, the first 20 seconds, you're in the green zone. The listener is enjoying your statements. It's relevant and to the point. The next 20 seconds is the amber zone. The listener is losing interest and you could easily fall into the category of a boring and chatty person. Now, in an interview, no one should ever cross a yellow signal. In fact, in any formal conversation. And of course, never run over the red signal, which is the next 20 seconds. But how do we find out which zone we are in? Catch the body language and eye contact of the interviewer to know whether they are listening to you intently or are they getting bored or do you find them kind of they've opened another window on the chat. In fact, you can use the name of the interviewers to emphasize your statement. The name game never fails in its objective to catch the other people's attention. Rule number seven, crisp attitude. Now, have you ever seen an army personnel flinging their arms randomly and stacking popcorn playfully? <laughs> Probably not, because that's how important body language is in determining the personality of a person. It is actually a very, very important part of your first impression game. I call it crisp attitude. It applies to your movement and how you dress. Now, a lousy posture, with random movements of hands and legs will kind of automatically score negatively in the first impression game. It shows a nervous and weak personality. We also have a separate video especially for you on body language to give you an advanced insight into it and I'm going to drop a link below. Overall, stay calm, poised, cheerful and do the good homework and preparation and you will ace your interview. And if you have liked this video, then hit the like button and the subscribe button to show us some love. And in the meantime, happy learning and good luck for your interview.